Are you ready? You're gonna listen to Sebastian. He won a huge uh, European, European Commission Prize for making uh, the internet a, a more trusted place by using blockchain. So, so yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh, how's your conference so far? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, thanks for having me. It's super cool to be here. I'm usually a speaker at open source conferences, so Drupal and WordPress, all those ecosystems. So it feels really good to be here in the search industry. I was at the speaker's dinner yesterday and I brought my dog with me. Uh, it wasn't practical to do it here, but I have a picture of him because he's two weeks old. And uh, yeah, make sure we go <laughs> down. So I'm here with all uh, the poo bags and stuff like that. It's a whole new life. But, uh, during my paternity leave, it's great to be here with all of you. <laughs> so, fixing the internet through timestamps and structured data. A bit about me, I've been working full-time with open source software for over 15 years. We've worked with WordPress once, Drupal, some of you, yeah. Um, it's not the only way to manage content, but 70% of all websites are managed with open source uh, content management systems. Um, I've worked with uh, blockchain technology for over nine years. Uh, have any one of you heard of WordProof? Cool, just a few. Uh, it's a startup applying blockchain technology to gain more trust on the internet. We won uh, Europe's prize of blockchains for social good. We were really proud in Europe uh, that they have a prize like that because it's not blockchain for speculation, but really how can we improve the quality of life of citizens? Uh, of Europe with blockchain technology. Um, we have uh, Marike and Joost Valk, the founders of uh, Joost SEO, uh, as angel investors in the company. So uh, yeah, it will make sense why uh, timestamps and SEO can be mentioned in the same sense. Um, married, stuff like that. Um, we started WordProof in 2019 with the, with the question, what if you can simply trust all information on the internet. Because even though the internet has brought us many good things, it has a deep-rooted issue, and it's with trust. Quite obvious that it happened as trust simply wasn't part of the internet's design. The internet was built to connect computers with computers. And computers, they do not dream, they do not care about power or self-enrichment, as they have no egos. But we, as humans, we do. And therefore, we now suffer on the internet a bit of fraud, manipulation, theft, on a daily basis. That goes back to the real world. So what do we say? To save the world, we need to fix the internet. And therefore, trust must become part of the internet's DNA. Transparency, so how did information change over time? And accountability, who is the center of information? Those two building blocks lead to trust. And this is exactly what blockchain timestamps can do transparency and accountability in an open source way. Many have heard of the Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the first known, well-known application of blockchain technology. White paper was published in 2008. The blockchain was originally invented over 30 years back to prove in an open source way that you didn't tamper with information. And a timestamp simply is a fingerprint of um, a fingerprint of the document when it was invented, but it could be anything, could be an image, could be text, could be a headline, um, that's stored in a blockchain transaction. And with that fingerprint in a blockchain transaction, you can prove that the document existed in exactly that form uh, at the moment of the blockchain transaction. And secondly, you connect, can connect an identity to uh, the blockchain transaction or to the wallet you timestamp with. And now you can offer both transparency and accountability to your content in an open source way, as blockchains are most often the open source technology. And what WordProof does is we bring timestamping, which is blockchain's initial use case, to content by integrating with websites. You can do that via a WordPress plugin, Drupal plugin. We have the largest Dutch publisher, one of them, uh, NRC, using it via the API. Uh, there are all sorts of ways to integrate it. Um, we communicate a lot with policymakers, so we made um, uh, a little video, it's a two-minute introduction in how timestamps lead to a trusted web. So let's have a quick look at that two-minute video.
Hey, this is Sebastian and I believe that to save the world we need to fix the internet. And trust must become part of the internet's DNA. And this is what a timestamp does. It brings transparency and accountability to information that matters. From news outlets to legal documents and from e-commerce to social media, timestamping is an open source solution for restoring trust on the internet. This is how it works. Each piece of content has a unique fingerprint, the hash. And that hash is unique for that state of the content. So modify only one small detail and the hash changes completely. By storing this hash in a blockchain transaction, you can forever prove that state of the content at a certain moment in time. To take it one step further, a person or organization can take accountability for its content by connecting an identity to that timestamp. Now sites can choose to show a timestamp certificate so that readers can verify how content changed over time and who exactly published it. See it as bringing every piece of content to a notary at the moment of publishing. And while a notary is slow and expensive, a timestamp is instantaneous and it only costs cents. True standardization, even search engines and social media can read and verify timestamps right in the language that they understand. The more transparency, the higher content should rank. And the more accountability, the higher content should rank. And as a result of that, freedom of speech no longer automatically means freedom of reach. And so in a few years from now, if information that matters isn't timestamped, you'll be considered a fraud. Citizens, consumers, policymakers, social media and search engines, they will simply wonder if you don't timestamp, what are you hiding? So join the timestamp revolution and let's build the trusted web together. So that's in uh, two minutes what we work on with Europe, with Europe and with, uh, yeah, with all stakeholders on the internet. Um, this was yeah, a quote that really resonated with, the, with us and started the company. In a few years from now, if you don't timestamp, so does, if you're not transparent and accountable in an open source way, what are you hiding? Um, and for the first time, that's with blockchain technology, for the first time in history, there is an open source way to prove that you didn't tamper your information. There's no trust needed in work proof, not in Europe, and nobody to make sure that you can verify uh, that there hasn't been tampered with information. Um, let's have a look at a timestamp in action. This is a blog article. Click on the link, but it could be anything. Some explanation. And here, if you're a developer, it's really Git style for content. So um, this is the timestamp certificate. What is red has been deleted. What's green is what has been added. This is radical transparency. It's not mandatory, but yeah, that's what we educate uh, policymakers on. How the more transparent you are, the higher you could make a reward in an algorithm. And the more accountable you are, the higher you could. Reward. Um, this is a way for visitors to verify. So, for example, on a news website, you can imagine uh, last edited four hours ago. That's something you could choose to click on to show a time sensor if you want. But it could be anything, it could be a button, whatever. Um, secondly, the information, the timestamp information, and all the tools to verify are outputted through structured data. Uh, I'll come back to why that makes sense. Um, some statistics, over 800 million uh, page views have been served with timestamps on it. Uh, a little more than a thousand websites are using it. And today over uh, 5 million articles from news organizations are timestamped. Here's a use case from the Dutch publisher NRC. Um, yeah, how leading Dutch newspaper NRC adds integrity and improves future SEO results. We don't know yet if it improves SEO, but it's groundwork for that. Um, in fact, the timestamp is like bringing content to a notary and proving that you did without a notary. Um, the implementation for them uh, is with the API. What happens, what the plugin does is every time you publish or update information, it makes a hash of it and puts that in a blockchain transaction um, and outputs it via structured data. 
numbers with a speed of about 250,000 articles a day, we were able to time stamp our whole archive. Um, over a, yeah, two and a half million articles from NRC are time stamped. Took them just four hours to integrate, which was super easy. And for them, they time stamp over 10,000 articles a month. It's less than 500 euros. So it's really an affordable way to, uh, yeah, make the case for integrity. Time sense and SEO, why does it matter? Um, content exploration bio journeys, they start in search engines. This is an open door, but number one SEO strategy, simply be the best result. If in 2014, the question was, if you, um, if does it matter or does it make sense to have a mobile version of your website? The answer was simple, yes, absolutely. There even became very quickly after that a mobile indexing. Why? Because it's simply a higher quality result. It's better user experience if a website adopts to a device. 2017, the question was, does using SSL or HTTPS impact my ranking? Answer, absolutely yes. Uh, Google and other search engines, but also search engine result pages. They even said, um, it's not secure if you don't. The question 2022 is, if there's an open source way to prove that you didn't tamper with your date, to put an identity, connect an identity, real identity, for example, or a certificate that comes from a university, in an open source way, if you can prove your accountability in an open source way, is that a higher quality result? You can argue the answer is yes. If content ranks based on the trend on how transparent and accountable it is, what you then get is that all information can still be placed on the internet, but before it can go viral in algorithms, it should be radically transparent and accountable. And as a result of that, if we implement that, and uh, it's search engines, but mainly a lot of misinformation happens on social media. Um, if you implement a system like that that rewards transparency and accountability, you can publish everything on the internet, but before it can go viral, a certain level of accountability must be taken. Then there's always freedom of speech, but not automatically necessarily freedom of reach, which solves a lot of the problems on the internet. And if all content that matters, that's uh, your content, your life, or your, what's the term? Your life. There you go. If content like that, content that impacts your decisions, is transparent and accountable in an open source way, a trusted web arises. Um, and the idea to rank based on trust is not a new idea at all. The vision is highly compatible with anything EAT. Uh, it looks in all elements of it. The thing is, for uh, identity, there's a whole open source movement. It's self-sovereign identity movement. Has anyone heard of that? Cool, it's something to take a look into. It's a way how universities, how, uh, but also governments or chambers of commerce, they can provide like, hey, this is a company and uh, their name is Workproof, or this is a person, um, or a university can say, hey, this person has this specific grade. You can connect really your grade or your trade, uh, chamber of commerce information to the account you timestamp with. So you can verify, if you upload that through uh, structured data, you can verify um, who the center of the information is and hold them accountable or e maybe even filter based on that. And in that way, that way you can really bring the benefits of open source to all 5 billion users of the internet. That's for the SEO part. For the policy making part, in how we educate policymakers is that we say, hey, there's the unregulated internet. The question is of who likes GDPR. <coughs> Nobody likes GDPR. The implementation of it is terrible. But the intention behind GDPR is wonderful. What Europe said is, hey, if you want to do business with the 500 million Europeans, you have to respect their data rights. The execution was terrible, but the intention is wonderful. So GDPR was about better data rights for the citizens of Europe. 
how we educate policymakers that we say a logical next step is that all information that impacts the lives of the 500 million Europeans must be transparent and accountable in an open source way. So that's a logical next step. We've done all sorts of research. Uh, we've all made all, all kinds of videos about a trusted weapon, uh, timestamps and e-commerce, timestamps and copyright, what those things can do. You can find them all on the website. The slides will be circulated. Everything is clickable. Some outcomes, 92% of the Europeans gave more trust to content if they know the uh, organization or author behind the piece of content. 90% of Europeans give more uh, trust to content if they can see what changes has been made. All kinds of stuff to build the case for radical transparency can be found in these reports, which, will, which are done in the US, in Europe, in Asia. Uh, yeah, if you want to dig deeper, you can do it there. That's the policy making part. So to conclude, do timestamps impact rankings today? Not yet. Uh, but once search engines and social media take timestamps in account, uh, it will matter that you started timestamping earlier as they are backwards compatible. A timestamp placed in 2025 is the same as the one that's timestamped today. Do they benefit your visitors today? For sure, as you can prove and make a manifest that you handle with integrity. For them, it leads to a trusted web where information that matters is transparent and more accountable. And do timestamps benefit you as site owners or SEOs today? For sure, it's like bringing valuable content to a notary, which has all sorts of benefits in copyright, potentially SEO uh, benefits in the future. And that's the thing. It's, you don't have a guarantee on what the future will bring, but because it's, Europe is involved, it's really a new thing. It's really the power of open source applied to all the creative work, to the, all the technical SEO work that has been done. So that's timestamping, that's the SEO use case, that's the policymaker side of it. And I'd love to hear your uh, ideas and questions. And uh, yeah, let's discuss a bit. Because um, together through timestamps, we can truly change the DNA of the internet for the better. And uh, yeah, let's end it here and see what questions you have. We are always searching for use cases that are or super niche or that are super deep in integrating EAT. So if that takes your interest, just let me know, shoot us a line, and uh, we'd love to discuss how we can yeah, implement. But most importantly, there's there's PR side of it. There's Europe is watching with us. So it's an interesting uh, thing to pilot on. So just let me know during drinks or shoot us a line uh, and see if we can see if we can collaborate. Questions?